Hallo und willkommen, ich bin Meister Lenz hier und ihr watching Get Germanized Top 10 German TV Shows. Ah, Let's get started. Lasst uns anfangen. On the 10th place. Rote Rosen, Red Roses. Rote Rosen is a German telenovela produced by Studio Hamburg Serienwerft Lüneburg. The show is broadcast by Das Erste since November 2006. This format is a very complex telenovela and tells a love story about women in their 40s every season. On place number 9, Mord mit Aussicht. Murder with a View. Mord mit Aussicht is a German satirical crime comedy show produced by the ARD. It follows the adventures of Sophie Haas, a detective from the big city who takes a job in the small country village of Hengatsch. The humor of the series mainly derives from life in small towns and big cities. And on the eighth place, Stromberg. Stromberg is produced by Brainpool and broadcast on the commercial television channel Pro7. This series was proclaimed as a copy of the BBC series The Office. Initially, the producers claimed the comedy was based on a comedy character from a former show on Pro7. But if you have a close look at the show, you will see that there are many, many things that you also know from The Office. After BBC threatened Pro7 with legal action, Pro7 decided to give them a inspired by credit. On place number seven, Verbotene Liebe, Forbidden Love. Verbotene Liebe is a soap opera created by Rick Watson for Das Erste. The show is primarily set in the German city of Düsseldorf, although at times the city of Cologne and the island of Mallorca have appeared in the series as well. The show was initially based on the story and character outlines of the Australian show Sons and Daughters, and later on it developed into a show of its own. On the sixth place, Gute Zeiten, Schlechte Zeiten, Good Times, Bad Times. Gute Zeiten, Schlechte Zeiten or Short GZSZ is a long-running German soap opera. First broadcast on RTL in 1992. The show revolves around a fictional neighborhood in Germany's capital city Berlin. Over the years the show started to introduce younger characters in their teenage years and early 20s. This was probably done to target a younger viewership. This show is based on the Australian format The Restless Years. Place number 5 goes to In Aller Freundschaft. In All Friendship. In Aller Freundschaft is a German soap opera which has been on TV since 1998. The series revolves around the staff of a fictional hospital Sachsen Klinik in the city of Leipzig. Initially the show was about three doctors who were really good friends. Nowadays there is a growing cast of 15 to 20 characters who arrange the storyline. Also many actors of the show were already acting on GDR television and cinema. On place number 4, Tierärztin Dr. Mertens. Veterinarian Dr. Mertens. Tierärztin Dr. Mertens is a German TV show based on the identically named movie from 2002. This show is produced by Saxonia Media and Bavaria Film and mainly uses the city of Leipzig and Leipzig Zoo as filming locations. Place number three goes to Lindenstraße. Lime Tree Street. Lindenstraße is a German television show on Das Erste and its first episode was aired December 8th, 1985. The show is based on the long-running British soap Coronation Street and revolves around the everyday life of a couple of neighbors. The show often tackles heavy topics such as Alzheimer's disease, disability or racism. In 1987 it even showed the first gay kiss on German television. The show is also known for its prompt incorporation of real-life events and current topics. And on the second place, Um Himmels Willen. For heaven's sake. Um Himmels Willen is a German sitcom that originally aired on ARD from 2002 until 2013. The show takes place in Lower Bavaria and revolves around the lives of a group of nuns in the fictional monastery Kaltental. And on the first place... Tatort. Crime Scene. Tatort is a long-running German, Swiss and Austrian crime television series set in various parts of these countries. The first episode was broadcast on November 29, 1970. The opening sequence of the show has almost remained exactly the same throughout the decades and only two slight changes have been made. This iconic crime show revolves around investigators solving crime. The show can be compared to Doctor Who insofar that over the years the investigators have been replaced many many times. The show has now seen over 60 investigator teams and there's no end inside since Germans really do love this show. If you think this top 10 list should look different or if you just want to tell me about your favorite German TV show, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Also make sure to check out my social networks in the outro or video description. And now it's time to have a look at some of your comments and questions. Heimatlink says, wo hast du Sex Hotlines am Tag gesehen? Die laufen noch erst ab 22, 23 Uhr. Kommt natürlich auf die Sender an. Where did you see Sex Hotlines during the day? They only air around 10 or 11 p.m. Of course it depends on the channel as well. Well, I don't really recall where I've seen them, but I am pretty sure that I've seen some during the day. 
Um, this is a comment from the video Germany versus England with Emily and Emily said the same thing that she saw, uh, saw some on the TV. Um, maybe Emily if you see this video you can help us out because I don't really remember which channel it was. Hugo Boss says a friend of mine said that Germany isn't a real state. Is he right? Well there is this um, I don't like to use the word conspiracy theory because uh, it is a word like to discredit theories that are not conform with like what the government thinks and what the majority of people think. So I won't say that, but it is a theory um, that Germany, I'm, I'm not sure how, like, how much uh, of this is true at all, so please don't take my word for it. But there is a theory out there that Germany is just like a company that was um, created by the Allied forces kinda and that the head of state of Germany is like the, the boss of the company. I'm um, not really sure it's uh, called a GmbH Deutschland or something like that. I'm not really sure if that is true or the Bundesrepublik. Well I'm, I don't really know what I'm talking about here so I should probably not continue this. But if you are more interested in that topic you should probably google it. Uh, is Germany a company or something like that. I might actually do that myself and make a video about it. Thanks for that idea. Josen8834 says, wait, you get paid to recycle? That's fucking cool. Um, we do get paid, but we also have to pay that amount when we buy stuff. So we buy a bottle of um, Coke, for example, and then there's, it's a little bit more expensive than it usually is, and we get that money back when we go and bring the bottles back to the store to get our fund, which is like the money that you get when you recycle at the store. So in the end it is not really being paid for it, it's just getting your money back. That's it with the comments guys, thank you very much for watching, don't forget to get Germanized, goodbye and auf Wiedersehen.